hello, hello, friends. Um, hi. <laughs> okay, this week has been a mess. I'm just gonna like lay it out right at the beginning here. Um, I mean, Vlogmas is a lot. Also, please let me know if this music is way too loud. I hope I figured out the volume <laughs> so it makes sense. <laughs> But hi, oh my god, Caroline, hi, Nate, hello, hello. Hank, how are you? Good to see you. This is one of those days, like, honestly, anytime you see me wear these glasses, it's more of like a, I can't be bothered with makeup day. <laughs> it's just one of those days where I'm like, listen, I I can't be, like, listen, I'll do my best to look pretty for y'all in videos, but if, if we're live streaming, I'm gonna do, like, the bare, like, I don't even have my light on today. Like, I literally don't even have my light on. Oh my god, Caroline, 18 months? Holy moly. You're the sweetest. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, wait, Caroline, will you do me like a weird favor on either Discord, Instagram, or Twitter? Will you message me? I just have an odd request for you. Um I promise it'll make sense, but oh my gosh, Nate, thank you so much for gifting one membership. Oh, Quinn. Well, congrats on becoming a member. Thank you so much, Nate. You're the sweetest. Yeah, I actually like these. I um, I thought about, so here's the thing. <laughs> uh, I thought about starting an Amazon storefront, but only if you all want it. Um, because like stuff like this and um, I have like tons of other like Amazon random finds that I actually get um, and that I've loved. If y'all would want that, I could make one of those so that way you could like see the stuff I'm purchasing. But these are from Amazon is like point being. I have no idea what the name is, but I can figure it out. Hey, Brianna. Is it Brianna or Brianna? Because I know many of people that like spell their name the way that you spell your name, but um, they all pronounce it differently. Hey, Big Tony, what you doing? He's going under the desk. That's what he's doing. Colorful, hi bestie, how are you? Yeah, today was one of those like, here's, okay, what I do on my no makeup makeup days, not that anyone cares, but I'm just gonna walk you through it. Um, showered my body, not my hair, like didn't wash my hair this morning. Um, I do my brow, like I always do like some eyebrow something. Like maybe it's not the whole shebang, but I do something. I have no foundation on at all but i do have some concealer because you can see how freaking dark the circles under my eyes are i have some concealer um i curl the absolute shit out of my eyelashes <laughs> and then i do a little like with mascara and then i um i cover this bad boy the scar which y'all all know about it's actually like with makeup you can't really see it which thank god um and then just like maybe a little bit of lip liner but this is like my no makeup makeup, which means like I'm actually wearing like 30% makeup. <laughs> but like, I don't have like, uh, you know, the chisel McChisel or the line McLine. You know what I mean? Honestly, colorful, that's my favorite thing about like beauty stuff. And I feel like it's not talked about enough, but I just, I curl my eyelashes like I mean, as y'all can tell, like, like crazy. So any false eyelashes or anything that I ever buy, they have to be like, bing. <laughs> Tori, oh my gosh, I wish I was skilled enough in Photoshop to be a graphic designer. Uh, no, I work in marketing um, for a, like a software company. Um, so yeah, lots of like creativity involved. Like I make a lot of sales decks. I make like, um, you know, webinars. Hey, bye, buddy. Um, that kind of stuff, but... Hi, Candyland, how are you? Well, thanks, Naomi. I'm, But that's why, like, when you see these on, because of the reflection from the screen, I feel like it's, like, a little bit more secure. <laughs> so silly, I know. I know, I should practice what I preach and, like, not even care. But... Okay, um... Well, let's, I guess, get into it. Actually, here's the thing. Let me let me actually do this. Also, by the way, if there are any like 
Oh, okay. Wait, I haven't even set this up. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Here's the thing. Like, I'm not going to bore you all with the details, but yesterday was an absolute nightmare. Here, let me put it back on the screen. Yesterday was an absolute nightmare with computer stuff. Basically, my PC wanted to update to uh, Windows 11 and then decided that it hated it and it didn't want to do that. And it broke my computer. <laughs> and, my, and my PC is like very much capable of running Windows 11. Um, yeah, it was such a mess. Anywho, I had to like redo OBS. I had to like redo everything. Which like on any other month would be fine. But the fact I'm doing Vlogmas and I'm recording videos every single day and publishing every single day, I like lost like... Only one pre-recorded video, thank God, but I did lose a lot of pre-recorded sponsorships I have coming up. So it was just like, it was a nightmare, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, again, I'm not gonna bore you with like the details of it. I actually don't even remember where I was going with this. Don't even remember. Um, why did I even bring that up? Unsure. Unsure. Oh, I guess because like the music doesn't play as well and I had to set OBS up differently and also you're like just chatting um, dialogue isn't popping up and um, same with like like if tonight like God bless you if you like do any uh, super chats or donations I will see them on the screen but I, they won't pop up on the actual like infrastructure of the stream um, so just like a heads up on that like do not blame anyone if they don't want to do that because I'm still I'm still like resetting everything up. Um, but I was going to show you my Pinterest is my point because I want to figure out exactly what I want to build. And actually, let me just show y'all what I want, what I want to do, or at least where I want to build something. Oh my gosh, Dave, the fact that you've been subscribed for 20 months is wild to me. It is why I think... I th think you're very close to having like the top tier membership because I think at 24 months it like it's like green but glowing like it glistens. <gasps> Cora, I can't wait for Katie on Color Cove to finish Color Cove and just be Katie, dude. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was Color Cove, and it exists. But it's still the 1.0. Like, here's the problem with touring islands. Um, you change your mind every time you see a new island. Like, I don't know if y'all saw the Care Bear one today by T, but holy moly. I genuinely do not know how they made such a beautiful island. Like, <laughs> and it's totally, it's a very different aesthetic from what I usually go for. But... I always take inspiration from the, like every island I see. And on top of that, my video for tomorrow, uh, knock on wood, I'm really hoping I have it done in time. Also, please let me know if the game volume is like way too loud. I was kind of guesstimating, resetting everything up. Um, I was, the, the video tomorrow is my favorite forest core islands I've seen, which you know is a problem for me. Like y'all know that is my favorite type of island to tour um and going through my favorites i was like oh my, that's like impossible um anywho for a one day <laughs> one day i'm trying to figure out what to put here and here's my thought i might put villager houses here i know here's the thing i know y'all really really wanted me to keep doby and uh what's his name avery avery's houses up here because here's the thing, I have Dobie and Avery's houses up here, and I gave them this, like, cute little wine cellar, like, oh, how cute, cool, like, whatever. For whatever reason, I don't like it. I kind of hate it. Oh, Caroline, yeah, totally, totally. Just ping me. I probably won't get to it now, but, like, in another time, absolutely. But anyway, I might get, <laughs> I know y'all said keep this last stream. I kind of want to move both of these houses to this area because i don't i genuinely don't know what else to put here i genuinely don't know what else to put here and um 
I think it could still look okay, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I change my mind all the time. Wait, as far as Katie on Calico. Hold on, I, I totally missed the context of that, Cora. Love me a good forest, Cora. Me too. Me too. And I tried to like be pretty picky on the ones that I chose, but like I said, everything's going to end up being easily a multi-series situation. Oh, about the island. Yeah, that that's totally valid. Yeah, I think I'm going to move them here. Hmm. How big are the villager houses again? They're just four by four, right? Let me just see. Would it be ugly? I don't know. Part of me kind of wants to move them there and then take that whole back area and make something cooler. Like, that's my thought. Um, let me do one, one gap right here, just for like hedges or I don't know. I don't know, something different. Okay, not there, here, maybe. Why do we have to finish islands? We definitely do not. I mean, you're talking to someone who quite literally <laughs> has semi-completed one island. I com I, okay, no, I should say I completed one island release a dream address. Um, but it was before the 2.0 update. Like I, I don't know how people make so many islands so quickly. I am very thankful for them because my channel literally depends on showcasing those people. And I think maybe, maybe this is just a Libra trait where I'm so indecisive and I cannot for the life of me then there's something that I don't feel is perfect, which is, again, not, like, a great trade. Um, but, yeah, no, I mean, I would, uh, I would agree with your sentiment because clearly I struggle on finishing any island. So, yeah, l let's look at the map. Oh, no, 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 not custom designs, the map. Okay, so if I move... Hmm... Maybe I should space them out more. Actually, that would make sense, right? If I space them out more because it's Dobie and Avery that would be moving to these squares. But how far? Actually, let's just go measure. Let's just go measure how far apart my villager homes are because that is going to dictate like where we put them, honestly. Hey, Frank, how are you? Oh my gosh, I know. The, this week is flying by and it's been like, hold on, one, let me count, let me count that I'll spawn, two, three, four, no, not you. Shoot, I lost count. One, <laughs> two, three, four, and then that was five, six, so six, so six spaces in between the homes. Okay, so let me figure that out down here. Um, what was I saying again? Yeah, no, it is, the fact that it is Wednesday is already is kind of mind boggling. It felt very Tuesday-ish in my brain earlier. Um, I'm just trying to like, I want to make this equal with this little record stand. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway. One, two, three. Four. Nope. Five. And then do we want it to be, yeah, probably more left than right because this is more, uh, actually, Actually, yeah, we're actually going to scoot it this way, the slightest bit. Six. T is what I'm doing making sense to anyone? I just realized probably no one is like... <sighs> like following exactly this whole strategy. Ooh, I haven't gotten the high school pack yet. 
So I got, gosh, and well, okay, so I, I kind of told you all, but yesterday I lost literally everything on my PC. So last night I was so frantic and I got in such a terrible mood, took it out on my beloved, which is like not cool. And this morning, well, actually I started last night, but I um, had to like re-download everything, absolutely everything. And it's so frustrating. But anyway, back to The Sims 4. I think the last one that I downloaded was maybe the snowy one. I definitely have um, university. I have the college one, which I actually like quite a lot. High school, I never got. I haven't gotten a lot of the more recent packs. One. Okay, wait. One. Two. Three. And four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Does anyone else do this? Maybe it's just me and like just my type A kind of personality. Like even whenever I have a more natural island, I still like whenever it's, you know, organized in many ways. Also, I still am hoping that Eugene is home during one of these streams because I really want to show you what I did for him. Actually, is he home? I'm pretty sure he's not. Yeah. Yeah. Curtains are closed. Lights are off. Well, at one point, at one point, I will show you what I made for Eugene because I really liked it. Okay. Hold on. Let's look at the map. Yeah, see, that looks so much better. Like, just like the way that everything is spaced, kind of particularly. I don't know. Browsing for mods is so addicting. I 100% agree. But I am, I am kind of picky with my mods, where I do really like only um, Maxis Match mods, you know? Um, I don't know. I understand the alpha appeal for sure. Like, I love watching, like, Claire Chabon's videos, and she's, like, a big alpha person for Sims 4 mods. But maybe this is just, like, my alliance to deligracy. <laughs> but I love Maxis Mash, and, it, like, it actually flows with the game a lot better. But I definitely have a few, especially decor mods, that are leaning on that alpha side. If you don't know what Sims mods are, you probably are so lost. I'm so sorry. Me with the 83 gig. Okay, honestly, Colorful, that's truly one of the more upsetting things about losing all of my data on my computer. I was like, oh my God, I don't have Origin. I don't have any of my mods installed. I am going to have to like, like, what are the eyelashes? They start with a K. The eyelash mods that are very popular. I love those. I'm going to have to re-download everything. Ah. <sighs> I need to get a new PC at some point, honestly, but, but it's okay. Anyway, do we like this layout? Like, see where the squares are? If I move these two top uh, houses, I guess, <laughs> where Avery and Dobie are, the flashing one, if I move those to there, and then, theoretically... I don't know if I would get rid of that incline and use it somewhere else, but I would like to have that option to have another incline because right now all inclines are taken. And then maybe back there, I kind of want to put a football field. Like Mel made an amazing football field at some point. And I kind of want to do that. I don't know. Yes, yes, those are the lashes. Amazing. They're so good. Um... Also, thank you, Bailey. I like it, except my museum, for sure. The terraforming is, like, the most phallic. <laughs> <laughs> but here, I'll show you. Let me, let me just go. Let me run there. Let me just actually hold on. Okay. Let me run there, and I'll show you, because, like, when you actually explore it, it doesn't look nearly as bad. However, hi, Molly. Oh. It doesn't look nearly as bad, but on the map, it looks pretty phallic. But I really like the way it looks up here. 
Like the museum, I have no intentions of renovating. I like it a lot. Um, I also, I know I want to move houses today and stuff. I need to figure out what I want to do here. And a lot of rocks are here already. So I'm thinking maybe like a rock garden. Yikes, that would be a long stream. A rock garden, but like also a butterfly garden, maybe, possibly. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Oh, you think it's strange? Yeah, I get that. How would I fix the pathing then? No. I get what you're saying, though. I mean, I guess, okay. I guess here's what I would do. Because a lot of the, wow, can I even remove a path? Hello. Um, a lot of the other pathing on my island is of a different version than this one. Let me, sh let me show you what I mean before I actually do it. So like I could add these kind of like stepping stones and some weeds to make it all connect or, or like here, well, I guess this is similar, it has the stepping stones. Um, I guess then up here, oh, hi Azalea, cutie, or something like this. So it's like a little bit different. Or, <laughs> again, or, um, oh man, this whole space up here is empty. Let me show you what's currently in front of Avery and Dobie's house because I know it's not this pattern pathing. Like this is kind of like our main walkway situation, but in front of their actual homes, Oh, I guess it is the same. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Just trust me, I have an idea. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sarah. That makes me so happy. I'm so happy you caught a live stream. They're only once a week, and they're not even long, but it makes me happy that you showed up and that you said hi. You wish you could move your museum? Candyland, you, can't, you know you can move your museum. You have to get to a certain part in the gameplay, but you absolutely can do that. Um, what goes for, okay, wait, so it goes dirt and then stone. Okay, okay, okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Let me just map out like a flower bed here. Just, it may be a flower bed. It may be items. Or trees. I don't know. Let me just like map out some kind of space. Hmm. Do I back it? Do I back all this up? I don't know. Um. Hmm. Am I planning on doing a toy day stream? Oh, that's a great question. Like on the 25th of December. That is a really good question. I th think no. Because the plan currently is to go see my in-laws and we're doing like a like a Christmas situation. Uh, obviously a Christmas situation. We're doing a breakfast Christmas situation. But, um, yeah, I, I would say you're on the side of no. But maybe, I mean, maybe later in the day. We also have plans to, like, go up to the mountains. Um, wow, I'm so bad at doing this. <laughs> we have plans to go up to the mountains, so, um, and I definitely can't stream up there. But I could do, like, an Instagram live or something like that. Maybe. That right yeah okay yeah i think maybe if i put the houses up higher i can still like give the illusion of fencing you know what i mean i don't know this is how my brain works whenever i organize my maps <laughs> oh, wait i can actually leave all of this just not this last one
right. Maybe, hold on, let me even look and see if this left one looks like it would be good. Hmm. You know what? We can make it work. I think we can make it work. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's annoying. It's okay. But then here's the thing. I see maps that honestly are so cohesive and easy to look at that definitely did not do any any <laughs> extremities like I'm doing right now. Like they probably do just fine. Okay, well I definitely don't want dirt there. You just like let's just put like a little twofer, maybe. And, okay, all right, let's do this then. Maybe, it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, not here, but here can do the two fur <laughs> path. Yeah, I think, or do we put it all the way up against the thing? Hmm. Either way, this middle section is definitely going to have some pathing. Because we can connect what we saw earlier, like the whole dual pattern thingy-majig, and then... Yeah, I feel like this will be good. Oh, thanks, Cora. I mean, that's what the goal is, but... Will it actually happen? Also, I definitely have a Quora command, by the way. Uh, let me try it. Hold on. Quora. I switched from Streamlabs OBS to just OBS, and I don't know if that affects Nightbot. So if it does. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. There we go. There we go. Shout outs are working. OK, great. Wait, Cora, when's your next stream? When are you, when is your next hunt? Because I think I told you this, but like a big part of me doing yoga at home has been during your village runs. <laughs> oh, sh shit. Hmm, okay, um, hmm, hmm. Two or one. Um, okay, I think I think we just do this and then I can always change it. Let's just move the villager houses after I have this basic pathing down. See if that makes sense. And then yeah, like I said, I want a football field back there. I just something about that one that Mel made, it in um, you know, it sparked something in my soul. So maybe we'll make that next stream and this one we'll just do villager yards. Cause see, like, isn't this the perfect amount of greenery for a yard? It's cute, right? It's cute. Tomorrow, yay. I will be there. In so frustrating. Okay, hold on. I, hmm. I guess it makes more sense. I'm going to eat my words every time. Let's actually do the path here. I'm changing my mind. I am changing my mind last minute. Only because in front of the houses, I want to add that stone path or like maybe the dirt path to get into their doorway. And even though you won't be able to see the whole design of like the main one, I'm okay with it. I'm actually okay with it. I'm like, yeah, obviously we'll get rid of this. Cool. I think that's the move. I think that makes the most sense. And obviously I'll fix everything down there. No, don't delete. 
But something about using the in-game pathing for like a good percentage of your island, it makes me happy. But then again, I see islands that are just like bonkers and they don't use probably any in-game pathing. <laughs> so I rethink everything I ever said. Hi, Lauren, you're not late at all. Welcome in. Yeah, I think this is the way to go with a little, um, not zigzaggy, but like the mosaic type of layout. And then I know we have this right here. I'm gonna leave the slightest space for trees. Hmm, or actually, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Only because I want this yard to be just as big as the other yard, and I don't think they're going to be even. So I'm going to have to pick favorites. <laughs> oh, Dobie's walking by. He's like, mm, man, don't mess this up for me. All right, Dobie, you get the big yard. Whichever is the bigger yard, you can have. Avery can then just deal with it. Is that fair? Yeah, I know. What if Kitty is another um, autofill situation? Or do we, I mean, do you know that she's potentially not? Yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm actually, now that I'm kind of seeing the results of what we're doing here, I'm actually quite happy that we're moving the residence homes here. And then that way in the back, I can have way more cool stuff. Because my thing with like every time I tour islands, I'm like, how do they have so many cool areas built up? And I think I just, my issue is with building so many neighborhoods, which is not a bad thing per se. But. Oh, that was the wrong one. <laughs> no autofills? Oh. You have found her before. Okay. That's intense. There's something, and I, I believe I talked about this last stream, or um, recently for sure. There's something about villager hunts that's like, I don't know, the adrenaline rush is like similar to like gambling, but you're like not actually gambling anything. Hi, Dobie. Oh, we're talking? Okay, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's been, like, way too long. You're cute. Get out of here. Bye. I might switch up my cranky, though. So, on that, the Care Bear Island, isn't Murphy a cranky? Is Murphy a cranky? Because I might... <sighs> Avery and Dobie, I, like, I envision them having a love story, but... Part of me kind of wants Teddy and Murphy instead. I don't know. I think, I, I don't know. I don't know. Avery and Toby aesthetically look like a good match. Oh my God, Color what's your birth week? Hello? Can you uh, tell me when your birthday is so I'm not an asshole? Thank you. DM me if you don't want it to be public, but I want to know. <laughs> Wait, it's in the past? You didn't let me know this? I'm genuinely mad at you. I am upset. How did I not? Okay. New protocol. Everyone is obligated to let me know when their birthday is. Forever moving forward. I don't like my own birthday, but I fucking love celebrating other people's birthdays. And how dare you not let me know when your birthday is. <laughs> oh my god, Kato, hi! Wait, have you been here? I haven't seen. I've been very much in a hole of uh, terraforming. <laughs> so I already let Kato know this, but I genuinely... Went back, um, I don't know how this popped into my brain or why it pops into my brain, 
Oh shit, no, I can't do this here. Um, oh, it's gonna be, okay, this is gonna be the annoying part. Hmm, I'll figure it out. Actually, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Never mind. Um, but the Wordle video that Kato did, uh, gosh, over, over a year ago, I think, somehow that pops in my memory and I went and saw it and rewatched it. I messaged her and Liz and EJ, who were all a part of it, and I was like, this is my favorite thing I've ever seen. It was so good. Okay, instead, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep that path separate, obviously. And do I do a blob or a line? Blob or, no, we're gonna do a line. We're gonna do a line. We're gonna do a little doogie. Yeah, cute. Yeah, I like this. Ugh. Why do we ever second guess ourselves, you know? I knew I wanted to move that area, but I like it so much better now. Okay, and then this, same thing. Cute. You love the apron that Dobie's wearing? I'm pretty sure, I mean, that's a natural Doby outfit. I'm pretty sure. I know I'm like over erasing, but it's fine. Uh... Hmm. Hide is... Okay, we're gonna do math. We're gonna do math and count how many, cause I actually like my, my type A brain wants to know. One, two, three, four, and five. So five spaces on this side will make it even. So one, two, three, it's gonna be perfect, four, and five. Oh, yes. Oh, man. As someone who, like, hates math, I get very excited whenever I'm right. What am I doing? I am moving two houses because I think in their current location, I want to put something totally different. Also, random, but I think tonight I might only stream until... <gasps> fucking hell. Okay, hold on. Let me fix this. I think I might only stream until 5.30 as a heads up. I just feel like having a little cozy night with my fiance. Um, and this whole one d video a day thing has been draining me. <laughs> um... Also, next week, I hope I can stream on Wednesday. I don't know if I will be able to. If not, I will make sure to circumnavigate everything and actually stream on Tuesday instead. Oh, wait, actually, no, I shouldn't have even done this here. I need to do that and that. No, wrong one. What is your favorite in-game pathing? Can you let me know in the chat? Because I like dark wood, or I guess it's literally just wooden path. I like wooden path and dark dirt. I'd like to know what else. Wait, Bailey, is that true? That's so cute. Aw. All of mine, just because I, I made my own designs. <laughs> For, uh, for my able sisters, my villagers just wear a whole bunch of Auburn merch and jerseys, which I love. Like, even today when I loaded up the game, Flora was wearing a Bo Jackson jersey, which I know a lot of you don't know who that is, but if you do, you'll understand. Okay, so I need to move... Okay, I need to move these houses here, but this path... 
Oh my gosh, I'm actually so excited because I really... Actually, hold on. I really like the way these houses are set up, okay? Do I put my crankies here? Or... Or... Do I put two of my... Like, do I make this like a bow and Nan situation? Because there's only two. There's only two. Rowan can't move because I like what he has going on. Um, Eugene doesn't even really have a yard, so he can stay. Azalea and Flora have decent yards. They could probably be better. Maybe I should put Bo and Nan right here and give them like a proper yard on either side. And then put the... And then put the two grouchy boys up top. What do y'all think? I don't know. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, and Nan. Yeah. Hi, Lindsay. Oh, I'm sure I've already said hi, but if I haven't, hello. Yeah, because we have like our two main ones there. I think that could be interesting. And then put the two grumpy boys again up where Bo and Nan currently are. But, and I've literally have, I literally have not done their yards. At one point I made Nan a yard, but I didn't like it. And so I got rid of it. Yeah, I think that's the move. I think that's the move. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just try one. Also, who goes where? Does Nan go on the left? I don't know. All right, let's just try it and see. But yeah, I think this makes the most sense, maybe. Also, again, I don't have my light on tonight. Like, I'm, I'm very much in, like, chill vibe. In chill vibe moods. So, we're just being super cash. That's cool. Is the old dreamer just still active? So technically, <laughs> I know it's like halfway done. Um, I mean, I'll show you the map if you want to see it and get the dream address for whatever currently existed. I'm, I think the last time I updated this dream address was, it's when I had the county fair and I think maybe some other buildings that made sense. But it, it, I mean, it's so far from done. Like, it's definitely empty in so many ways. I think Nan should be on the right. Because when you think about it, when you read phonetically, B, the letter B becomes before N, and so B would be on the left. Is that weird? <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks this way? I gave this dress to Nan so long ago, and yet it's like my favorite, favorite dress I've ever given a villager, ever. Um, right now it is 4.48 p.m. for me. I'm in a P Pacific Standard Time, if that's helpful for you, Lauren. And I'm probably only playing for like another hour, um... I've been so, so busy with making content that, like, this week I feel for streaming. I'm just going to keep it easy. Uh, but honestly, we've been more productive this stream than others. Okay. Let's try and angle this so perfectly so we get it right. If you see these ornaments in my inventory, it's literally because of the Lex Play build collab we did. No! So close. Boom. Okay. Let's see what it looks like first. <gasps> I like it. I do. Especially considering in between Bo and Nan's houses, we could create like a little, f a little friendship area. <laughs> and then on either like the right or left side of their houses could be very particular for their own personalities. So like Bo could have a farm probably or like some kind of food and then Nan could have maybe pottery. 
You like it, Marie? Oh, good. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. I'm feeling good about it. It's not, like, the thing about placing structures is, like, sometimes if they're too high, it blocks off everything. But because it kind of is perfectly in between this little KK album stand, I think it's going to work well. Maybe, possibly. Cute. Okay, let me see before we move, well, before we time travel and move bow. What is this pattern order? Okay, so it's like, weeds is like every other one kind of, oh gosh, this is going to be tough to remember. You know what? Let me just run with it. If it's different, I guess it doesn't totally matter. It doesn't have to be exact. <laughs> and I also know up here, I at least want to do this. Hold on. To like connect everything. Right? Maybe? Possibly? Okay, so where are all of my things? All right, so this is definitely one. And then this. Oh, shoot, I don't have weeds. Actually, let me go get weeds. Maybe we can do this simultaneously, possibly. Oh, thanks, Bailey. That I, um, gosh, I'm going to forget off the top of my head. I did not make that up at all. I very much copied it from someone. Shoot, who was it? I'm going to forget, but I'm pretty sure I mentioned it on my Instagram. Like when I first posted a picture of it. Weeds. There we go. Toby, what are you doing? Yeah, I think I'm going to like this actually like so much. I know last stream we very much just cleared out this whole area, but I think this is going to be good. Okay, actually, I know I said I was just going to wing it. I'm too much of a perfectionist to not look. Okay, so it goes from here to weeds to green. Okay, so on either side of this one, it's either the green one or this steppy stony. Okay, great, great, great. That. I'm pretty sure this is like an actual bath tile. <laughs> bath tile code, but I really like it. Oh, yay. Thank you, Bailey. Yeah, I'm planning to like make whatever spot this is. Like this is Nan's yard. I'm going to get rid of this rock. Um, but give her like her own like very Nan space and then over like in between her and Bo's houses, I think like, I don't know, just like a like friendship aisle, something cheesy maybe. And then obviously Bo will have like a little, a little farm or maybe they'll share a garden. That would be cute. Maybe they could share like a crop garden. Maybe. Okay, I'm coming back to look at this. So it goes, oh, okay. It literally goes gray, green, multi, gray, green, multi, gray. Okay, 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 okay. Copy that. Roger. What are you like? Doing? Okay, so gray, green. Multi. Nope, wrong place. So then it would be like gray, green, right? maybe, hold on, gray, green, multi would be down here. Oh, this is like math for creative people and I hate it. <laughs> gray, green, multi, gray, green, multi, maybe? 
No, that's too close. Multi gray. Multi. <laughs> Uh, Marie, these paths are, I'm 99% sure all of them are on my Pinterest, not Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is like super, super outdated. Uh, you're welcome to follow me there, just like I post stories and stuff. But my Pinterest is where I save most of. Gray. Green. <laughs> cool tea. Gray. Multi. Gray. Green. Multi. Gray. Green. Gosh, I hope I didn't mess any of this up. Gray. Green. And then this one. Okay. They look even. <laughs> let's see if they actually are. Let's do let's do the the gray. Let's do this guy. Okay. So basically every offset of the one we just did. I think this is where my brain like short. Oh, no, nope, that's not right. This is where my brain definitely short circuits. Yeah, like it definitely screwed up at some point. No. Here we had everything right because the green. <gasps> no, the green goes here. And in between each one is either a weed code or the actual plants that are weed. Okay, here's where I messed up. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just delete all of these while I can. There we go. Yeah, that's where I definitely miscounted. Right? AJ, how are you? How you doing? Sparksby used to use codes and dirt. Oh, I love a Sparksby. All in so sweet. Is this meant to go here? I think at this point I should just go in order because at some point I messed up. And I need to just not do that anymore. Oh, well, and there she goes messing up. And then the multi. Then gray. Respect to like anyone and everyone that does like detailed pathing. This is my first time even attempting it and it's <laughs> um it's a lot. Emily, oh thank you. you. Made my day. Thank you so much. I mean, this month is definitely a unique one because I'm Pumping out a video every day. Somehow. But, I mean, I've actually thoroughly enjoyed it. And I feel like I found, like, a very interesting groove with everything. Um, and I hope you all are enjoying the weekly live streams. I know it's literally once a week. And that's not much in comparison to a lot of other very regular streamers. But, um, honestly... It just gives me an opportunity to connect with y'all. And like learn your names beyond the comments and like actually converse with you on a fairly regular basis. And that to me is fun. Okay. No, wrong one. I hope you guys see what I'm doing here. I promise. Oh my gosh, if I can get in the right spot. I promise it does make sense. Okay, so we're ending on a multi. And then before I totally, oh no, get out of here. That's not what I want. 
Before I totally fill in all of this with like weeds, I know I also use weed pathing. So actually, let me pick that up. Um, but I don't remember in what consecutive order. Okay, so it goes. So like an upward weed. weed. Okay, so it's just in the direction. Okay, 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 okay. I just want all this to match, which, you know, doesn't necessarily matter, but in my brain it matters. So for me, it's like every other one, I want to plant a weed. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, I'm going to break my own rule. We're going to do every two here. Yeah, we're gonna do every two. I know I'm I'm totally not paying attention to exactly what I was saying, but oh, thank you, Becca. Wait, Lindsay, really? That's cool. Uh, Marie, I'm pretty sure I'm in July. <laughs> like I'm like ninety percent sure I'm in July. That would make sense for me. But I don't remember. Actually, let me just look. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, July 27th. Oh, that's the day before my mom's birthday. AJ, I know, right? <laughs> Just like. But I want it to flow. I want it to flutter. Maybe. The weed. Da -da -da. Wait, what? Oh, it planted over there. That I don't want. I want it to plant right here. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. In front of Sweet Bo's house. Wait, what? Okay, what controller? What are you doing? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so then we need to do the horizontal, these guys. <laughs> ivy, horizontal ivy, sure. Do I have any tips on someone wanting to start doing YouTube and streaming on YouTube? I mean, streaming is definitely not my forte. I stream so infrequently. Uh, I mean, now I feel like I have a consistent schedule, but it's so, so different. Oh, shoot. I just messed that up. It's so different in comparison to like a lot of my colleagues who have like very regular schedules. But because I work full time, I only stream once a week at a very specific time. Um, but for like YouTube videos, I definitely have advice. Um, beginning with. If you want to make content on YouTube. First, like take inventory on what you let me just like switch to like just chatting, sure. First, take inventory on what you enjoy watching. Like, what do you actually enjoy consuming as someone who watches YouTube? Like, is it gaming content? Is it lifestyle content? Is it like fitness related? Is it reaction videos? Um, I don't know, commentary about pop culture. Like first, definitely do an inventory on what you enjoy watching the most because we're all parrots. We tend to mimic what we see. <laughs> and for me, I enjoyed watching a lot of gaming content, specifically Animal Crossing, obviously. And then even more niche than that, I loved watching Island Tours, like Chase Crossing, for example. I loved watching his videos. Um, and so I started making what I enjoyed watching and in order to, I mean, my, my literal day job is working like in social media and in marketing. So I do understand a lot of basics about SEO and how like different platforms work, but, uh, a very helpful plugin for you or for anyone just starting on YouTube is called TubeBuddy. Um, they have a lot of affiliate sponsorship stuff, but like, don't let that deter you because it actually did help me quite a lot. But that's my best advice is make what you enjoy watching. 
be a parrot, at least for the beginning, and then you'll find your own groove, and then you'll find your own um, finesse to what you're creating. It's very hard to be popular and like totally original content, but I don't know. Hopefully that's helpful. You want to get your, your uh, son a capture card? Um, get the Elgato. Um, I don't have an Amazon like storefront or anything, but I, I'm pretty sure I have the Elgato capture card linked in the description box. And this is really, really good for like pretty much any console. Um, if your son plays like just games on his computer and wants to stream, you really don't need a capture card. But if like if it's like Animal Crossing, Pokemon, something on the Nintendo Switch, then yeah, you'll need a capture card. And the Elgato, I think it's like the HD 60S is the one I have. It's in the description, though, I promise. Hopefully that's helpful. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. No, it's actually so much fun. Like, I am the biggest, biggest cheerleader for people starting content. Um, it's been very therapeutic and fun for me. I don't, I mean, it would be cool if it ever became a full-time job. I don't ever anticipate it to be, but that has also never been an expectation of mine. And so for me, like, supplemental income and just, like, having a community is, like, so, so cool. And it also helps, like, me sharpen my iron. Oh, my gosh, I keep messing up this bad thing. Um, as someone, like, in marketing and someone that does that as my 9 to 5. So, yeah, why not, you know? I will say the tough skin element, um, <laughs> if you don't already have some. Okay, let me switch to, like, this vertical path then that I would say is definitely advantageous to have. Thankfully, I couldn't care less about what people say about me. I, oh my God, Shannon, hi. <laughs> hi, my bestie. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a Shannon command. I caught, I hope so. I hope so. If not, I'm so sorry, then I'll fix it. It might be under QB. But hi, Shannon, hi, bestie. Yeah, no, I think uh, having just, like, a thick skin in general has been, like, super advantageous. And part of that is just, like, being someone from performing arts before YouTube. And then also I am just, like, a very objective person. Okay, let's time travel. I'm ready to move Bo in, too. And then we can decorate a little bit more. Um, does that make sense, though? I don't know. Like, part of me is, like, I don't... I just understand anyone that says any mean shit on the internet, especially on YouTube, it's like they're bored. <laughs> like, they're, like, God bless them, dude. Like, they have literally no other time on their hand. So you have to view any mean comments through that lens, and you will get them. Any Anyone will get them. Everyone will get them. Um, I seem to be a target for the absolute nefarious, <laughs> which for me is actually fine. But you just have to laugh at it. So that would be another tip. It has nothing to do with the actual content creation itself. But um, just be be prepared. And then, oh, sh shit balls. What did I just do? I was on 727, right? Let me just go to the 29th. And we'll do 5 a.m. Yeah. Totally messed up. Haters are Katie's motivators. They're more like, I laugh at them behind their back. What is that? What is that? I don't know. They're just like, I mean, they're losers, dude. Like anyone that takes the time to say anything mean online, it's like you're a loser. You have no, nothing else better to do? Okay. And then if this is your hobby, like, engagement is engagement. Like, you know what? It's going to help my algorithm no matter what. A comment is a comment. <laughs> I've been so tempted. And maybe, maybe I'll do it for a vlog miss. I kind of want to do it when I hit 100,000 subscribers, like, if and when, like, God willing. But I do want to eventually do... 
Oh, good. Nan moved. Oh, thank God. Um, a reading my mean comments video. Because I have so many funny ones that I saved. <laughs> like whenever I first got a mean comment, I was the person that was like replying with a novel. Like I'm, I'm a debate queen. Like that's how I grew up. I, um, I did speech and debate for like nine years. So that was my gut reaction. And then I just realized like, you just gotta laugh. Like you have to laugh because laughter is the haters kryptonite. It is, you know, you just gotta giggle. And don't even let them know you're laughing. Do not let them know you're laughing. Screenshot it, share it on Twitter, giggle, and then move the fuck on. You know, what is Isabel saying? Were you fireworks? Okay, cool. That's cute. Emma, you're so sweet. Thank you. Hank, that's so true too. I've definitely blocked certain key words. Um, from my streams before mostly just like very nefarious words um oh, yes i like this i actually like it a lot oh should i move it up though hmm nan what do you think i worry go worry <laughs> oh you're so cute so actually, let me let me put some pathing here and just make sure that I don't want to bump this up before I move Bo. I think we're actually in like a decent spot. Yeah, ignoring's the way to go. Absolutely. I mean, okay. Let me actually double check. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it goes wood. The oh yeah 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 yeah. Stone then path. Stone then path. Um. Yeah, you just got to ignore. <laughs> because people that actually say that kind of stuff, they want a reaction. So the best thing to do is not give them a reaction. No? I know it sounds so simple, but like, that's the answer. It's just, I feel like you're a nerd, dude. You're just a nerd. No way. You have to fight them with, with the nerd word. There's nothing wrong with being a nerd unless you're a nerd that lives, leaves me in comments on people's YouTube videos. Then, yep. Might be wrong. <laughs> Ignore and pretend you don't see. That's usually what I do. Um, and then I let other commenters just, you know, go to your defense. Um, it's been a minute since I've, like, got a mean comment, so, like, you know, if you're watching, feel free, like, have at me, honestly. Yeah, this is cute. Okay, I like this a lot. I do, I do, I do, I do. I like it. Let's go ahead and move Bo. And then, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yes, 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 yes. I'm actually quite happy about this decision to move everyone. But first, let me go up to where Nan is and make her little box or where she was i think it got rid of her yeah shoot hmm that's the problem is like when you map out everything so like where was nan we said they were like six apart is that right does anyone remember one two three four Six. I think they were six apart. Shoot. And then Dobie and Avery will go up here. One, two, three. I mean, that would make sense. That was right. Hmm. Hold on. Let me move out of the way a little bit more. It's so hard to tell. I think it was. Maybe. Post a mean message, I dare you. Only if it's Cora's stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, coffee, yes. No, I love Nan so much. Oh my god, Mary, that's so sweet. It was the best. Wait, Cora, you're still here. Ignore what I just said. You didn't hear it. <laughs> I thought you were gone. <laughs> 
Okay, I think it's six. But I don't know for sure. <laughs> That's okay. We're just gonna move Bo, I guess. Yeah? Move Bo first and then move the two grumpy boys after that, maybe? I think. Maybe. Like how core is three foot one. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm five three, so I cannot actually judge anyone on height. Everyone thinks I'm tall. I'm not tall. I like that I give tall energy, but no ma'am, no sir, no them. Um, yeah, let's move Bo first. Yeah, I really want to either make the spot where the part that we're basically getting rid of, either a football field or move the county fair there and then have the football field uh, on the beach. I don't know. I think it makes more sense to maybe have the county fair on the beach. Unsure. I look like I'm tall. I wish. I mean, I'm not quite, I'm, I'm above 5'3". I know that I'm above 5'3", but I'm definitely not a full 5'4". So we'll call it 5'3 and a half. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm pretty short. Um, definitely not like the shortest, but like in, in regards to the, the public's height. Oh my gosh, speaking of the public, is anyone so excited to watch the new Winter Love Island? <laughs> I literally, this is the only reason I pay for a VPN ever. Shannon knows. It's quite literally the only reason I pay for a VPN. It's to watch Love Island, UK. Hmm. I'm going to fix this at some point. I'm probably going to make this little section look more like this, like a bit wider, maybe some weeds in between, and then it becomes the path, but... I'm going to ignore that for now. No. So close. Boom. Let's imagine it. Make sure it works. Mary. Aw. You did not have to do that. Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my God, Shannon, really? <laughs> I truly was just talking about having a VPN for the sole purpose of watching, I mean, Love Island in general, but like the winter UK version of Love Island. So, too funny. Oh, beep, we're the same height. At that point, I might as well run up to three, four. You mean five, four, right? I'm not three, four. At some point in my life, I was three foot four. But today, <laughs> today I'm doing all right. You know what? I'm so, oh my God, I'm so close to finishing the Pokemon Violet gameplay. I only have like one more thing to do and I just still haven't. Okay, let's see how this looks. I'm super excited. You're five one and three fourths, so I round up to five two. Listen, being petite, I think, is powerful. So short queens out there, just know that I'm with you. Um, we're in solidarity together, and um. We may be short, but we are mighty. Wait, wait, isn't that a Lord of the Rings quotation? We may be small, but we're mighty. <laughs> Is that true, Shannon? I knew, I knew that you were petite. I didn't realize you were like a flat five foot, though. I thought you were like five two. Molly! 
Five three on a good day. See, so many short queens and kings. I love it. This has actually been so nice. I hope y'all know, like, I almost canceled stream today because I've been so busy. And I was like, I don't feel like getting ready. I don't feel like putting up, like, up my lighting. Uh, and obviously, like, this new, the new OBS system is driving me up a fucking wall. But I, it's actually been so nice, and I'm so glad you guys have enjoyed it. Oh my god, Shay and Lunar are the best. And by Shay, I mean Chai. Chai. I always read her name like Che, but her name is Cheyenne. <laughs> Helen, that's kind of nice that both of you are the same height. My um, not quite husband, but soon to be husband is 6'4", or so. Definitely not the same height, unfortunately. So if I have arthritis in my neck one day, we know why. Yeah, I like this. I actually quite like this a lot. So that way, like, Bo will have his yard here. This will be some kind of shared community area. Cute, 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 cute. Big fan. Okay, I'm actually so happy I did this because I was wondering so much about what to fill up this area with. And yeah. Yeah, I like this. I like this layout quite a lot. It feels so much more dense, especially like with the archway in the background. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm happy with it. I think I like it. How do I feel about tattoos on people I date? I mean, not that I'm dating anymore, but I love them on other people. I am too indecisive to have one for myself. Like, I love... Here's the thing about tattoos. I like when people don't half-ass it and they have a full sleeve or like a full chest piece or like their whole body's covered um and and i have some friends that have like bits and bobs and it look and it looks nice but i would prefer someone to like go all in with tattoos or have none at all does that make sense i don't know hi megan how are you <laughs> Okay, I have got to figure out... Wait! Oh, this is Molly's house. Duh. Okay, okay. So we think... This will actually be the perfect way to... figure out if my six and whatever spacing is correct. I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure... That's what it is. Because that's six, so like one... Two... Three, four, two, three. Yep, it's going to be it. Five. <gasps> wait, not quite. That's, wait, what? Seven. Oh. Maybe it's all off by one? Could that be... Could that be... Right? Two, three, four, five, six. Five, right! Maybe. Oh my goodness. Oh, coffee, thank you. Wow, I am among legends then. <laughs> and you are placing me among many a legend. You have a lot of small minimalist tattoos. That's cute. Yeah, I've always like, I don't know why I held up my wrist. I guess because like maybe like that's where I would get one. And I have a big scar on my leg, so... At some point, maybe I would, like, get a tattoo over the scar on my leg. I also, and I feel like this is the same way with potential children's names. Like, if you're like, I want to name my child Katie, you'd be like, oh, I knew this one YouTuber and I hated her, so I'm not going to name her Katie. You know what I mean? But I feel the same way about tattoos. So, like, I would never get a tattoo in a place where I knew someone that had a tattoo in that place. 
And I've known a lot of people with tattoos. <laughs> Where it'd be like, oh, well, so-and-so had that. And I'm like, there's no way. Oh, you're making a Riverdale? That's fun. I have like a really weird... I mean, it's non-existent now connection to um, Lily Reinhardt. Like, we were Facebook friends. <laughs> it was very weird. Obviously not anymore. She, uh, she, she definitely, I'm sure, PR'd that. Um, but yeah, we were like Facebook friends, like very randomly. And then she got famous, and then she deleted all our friends. So. I think I'm too indecisive. I think, I think if I were to get tattoos, it would be artwork. I really think it would be artwork and no, like, no words. Just because, well, I say that, and then I don't know. I think I would. But I feel like I would lean more into the art, especially if it's, like, a really good tattoo artist. And then, like, words, like, I, you, never, you never know where you're going to be in 10 years from now. So, again, I think I'm just too indecisive to have tattoos, but, tattoos, but I love them on other people. And other people, I want to know everything. I want to see everything. I want to know. Tell me. Jessamine, make sure to um, submit it to my tour, tour form. Tour form? Yeah. My tour form. <laughs> it's in the description box. That's how I check them out. You artists had to just go with it for your first one. That's so interesting. I don't know what I would do. I don't know. Okay, this can't be right. I think I'm messing up the numbers here. Hmm. But that has to be right at the same time. Six, right? Because that's what we counted in between the left ones. Which is what should be in between the right. Maybe I'll just figure that out another day. Tour form? Yeah. Add tour form. We got tour form. Also, poor Molly, I feel like deserves a better spot than this, but you know what? I put her close to some water. Now the question is, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually like so much happier now because again, I know I have a bug. I know I've shown you this view. I really like this neighborhood situation. And now that we have, it just, it feels so much more full and I actually really like it. Obviously we have to give them yards. Then... What kind of yards do we give them? In my mind, I feel like I should give Bo some kind of farm. I feel like I should give him some kind of farm. Nan always strikes me as like a pottery queen. But do I want to put pottery right here? I mean, I guess maybe. It's not like too close to resident services. Yeah, maybe. Okay, and then question. Chat, please weigh in. Because currently, and this is going bye-bye, so I'm sorry if anyone likes it. I know most of y'all did, but I'm getting rid of it. Because Dobie and Avery, right here, because they're lovers and neighbors, and they will still be lovers and neighbors, they had this uh, winery situation, and I'm getting rid of it because we're going to make something else, which is fine. And what should I give them in an area that is a little bit more small? <laughs> it's a little bit more small. Because I think Dobie and Avery. So let's see. So here's Molly. And I kind of like the idea of having a normal close to a cranky. So, I mean, they're both cranky. So like Dobie, let's say, is here. Avery, let's say, is here. And then I could also move Egbert, which is right here. But what do I put in between them? Maybe like, maybe I could build out this area, like get rid of this tree, get rid of all this junk right here and make it more like a mini vineyard. I don't know. What do you think? 
a small, I don't really have a theme for my island. My theme is Katie core. It's kind of, um, it definitely has like forest core vibes. Like I'll show you my entrance. I feel like my entrance in my museum are pretty good examples of, um, the aesthetic I'm going for. Definitely overgrown, definitely natural, but I still wanted it to feel like sleek and a little bit modern in its own way. Which is why, of course, like I have the pathing with these edges on it. Um, and it's like dirt pathing, but there's also plenty. Oh, wait, get out of here, Matt. But there's also like so plenty of designs on it. So like whatever you see on the screen now, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. <laughs> so yeah, like forest core, overgrown, all the good stuff. Thanks, Shannon. I feel like I should consult Shannon for islands because everything Shannon makes is so beautiful. It's always so good. Like, this is one part of my island. I'm like, okay, yes, I'm happy. But it's been two years. Like, goddamn. <laughs> Let me go this way. Hold on. Um, I need to fix this pathing here, but I plan on keeping this storage unit right here just for convenience because it's like very close out of the airport um and then the museum i like but this was like honestly copy pasta from some some pinterest something like it truly except for the way it's decorated on the side but i'm i am happy with my museum and i'm happy with my entrance and um but yeah no this like honestly the waterscaping to a t I know was inspired by some Pinterest something. Um, but of course, I made sure to like make the, the bushes and everything else unique. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Shannon, that makes me so happy. I almost messaged you earlier today, and honestly, I probably will tomorrow. Wait, actually, you're a perfect person to um, ask for this. So, like, right here, this is just, like, my bush storage. And this is, like, in front of my museum. I have a lot of rocks spawning here. So part of me is, like, maybe some kind of elaborate rock garden. I kind of want to make this area. And maybe we'll do this on stream next week, if I can stream next week. I really hope I can. Um, I kind of want to do a butterfly garden right here maybe possibly but i have to get rid of all these fucking bushes which is fine but i don't know maybe maybe not oh bye marie have such a good night i'm actually probably gonna end this stream a little bit early anyway but it's so nice to see you but yeah, there are certain empty areas that I'm trying to figure out. So like this is one that I just showed you. Like I like this little pond. I think it's cute. And my beaches. Oh my gosh. There should be one stream dedicated to beaches. But this is one right here. I just have some bushes there. Um, this area, this little chunk right here. I have an idea what could go there, but I'm not sure entirely yet. Um, obviously we fixed this empty area tonight, thank God, and I'm actually so happy it's a part of our villager community. I think that's going to be super cute. But when I move the other houses, then we'll have this area up here empty. But I think I want to do a football field. I actually think that's what I want. And then we have, of course, the, the fair down that way. Where I move everything? Oh, I don't know. I gotta decide. Oh, another empty area. Let me show you. This is me asking y'all to brainstorm four empty areas. Just in general, not necessarily for my island, but um, okay, so when we go through the neighborhood, love this. Cute, cute, love it, perfect, great, cool, like it, great. Over here, I have this peninsula.
totally empty. And it's a big one, too. And this little empty beach. So... I would like to figure that out. And I, I brought this up last stream, but the, the ladies that live near it are Azalea and Flora. Like, this is Flora's house. And then Azalea lives right here. And the inside of their houses are both very, like, planty, very floral. So I figured, at least on this side, something very, like, I don't know, like a farmer's market of plant, like just like a flower farmer's market. I have no idea. I don't know. Ooh, overgrown campsite. You know what? Actually, I don't know if I've ever shown my campsite <laughs> ever. Um, but I put it in a place where I could kind of ignore it. But maybe I should put it back, back on this right hand side where Flora and Azalea are. I don't know. Um, let me show it to you though. At least where I plopped it for now. So we go around here. Here. Okay. So the campsite is actually down here and it's like it's so bare bones um i just kind of put it on this area because it felt like small enough to fit it <laughs> but big enough to make it kind of impactful obviously could be a placeholder though we could always move the campsite oh that's true i actually saw one today with like a gorgeous gazebo on the peninsula and that was actually really pretty idea i have no idea caper glowing moss pod Ooh, that could be pretty i also you know what i thought about doing with the peninsula this would kind of screw over the back beach well maybe not necessarily but i thought about putting train tracks there i do love a good train track situation i'm guessing i know this yeah okay great also, if I cannot stream on actual the toy day, then um maybe like for like for members only I'll do a live stream and do like come visit me, <laughs> like just come hang out. Or like I told y'all, I'm turning my modded switch instead of a modded island because Nintendo hates it. What's up? I'm deciding to make that like a treasure island with like my favorite items. Um, but I gotta fix it. <laughs> oh my god, Shannon, true. Like it becomes a big campground. Wait, have you seen have you seen Tease Island? I, I just posted it today. You might have already dreamed it yourself. But it's not like my aesthetic at all. It's like very colorful. It's um it's a Care Bear inspired island. But the whole campground is not only similar in the fact that there's like different camp tents or whatever but it feels like you're going camping so there's like rock climbing there's activities there's volleyball there's um what else there's like an obstacle course and i was like that's genius of course like people make their campgrounds you know like people will throw a bonfire in there but Oh, yes, colorful. I summoned you, by the way. <laughs> you honestly, Shannon, go visit it yourself. You, I think you would love it. I really, really do. Even though it's like very colorful and different from what you or I make. It's so much fun. And so like I got so much inspiration, even though it's totally different than anything I make. Toka, welcome. Oh, I'm so happy you did. Welcome in. Oh, Caitlin, are you really? That's amazing. Yeah, it's such a good island. And y'all, honestly, um, I know I usually go until 6 p.m., but I'm kind of having one of those evenings where I, um, I just want to, like, love on my man. And he isn't home yet, but he should be any minute. And I just feel like, you know, being a good partner and 
giving, you know, giving my, uh, my time to him. So, with that said, I think we're going to end stream a little bit early, just like 20 minutes early tonight. Um, again, I know I only stream like two hours a week, and tonight's only like a little over an hour and a half. So I'm so thankful that y'all even showed up. But, um, yeah, I'm going to keep y'all updated if next week I can stream. I'm flying. I'm like literally on an airplane a couple hours after stream that night so I might not be able to I don't know um but I'll keep you looped in regardless vlogmas aka just a video every day Katie on content cove miss I'm driving myself crazy miss is still happening um and I hope you're enjoying it um honestly y'all are the best and the best way you can support me is just by watching watching my videos it's so sweet um yeah tristan i do have a discord it's in the description of this stream and all of my videos it's always in the description box um that's all i said um a lot <laughs> i love you guys thank you for just letting me be cozy and having a good time i appreciate y'all i really really do and i'm so excited actually about this yard situation i'm going to off stream try and figure out the layout for the other two crankies in the back like an airline attendant like figure out avery and figure out doby um so that way next stream if we can make it happen uh filling up their yards but yeah i feel very very successful in what we did tonight i'm happy with it and i was kind of anticipating hating it but it worked well, so good. I feel good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lindsay. Um, Lindsay also message, will you message me on Instagram or Twitter if you can? I know it's random, but if you can, I would appreciate it. Thank you, Jen, for being here. Nicole, thank you. Nerdy Bird, thank you, and Beep. I hope everyone has such a good night. Um, I know the holidays can be a weird time for a lot of people, but you know what? Not a weird time for Animal Crossing people because we're always weird. How's that? Solidarity of weirdness. Y'all have such a good one. And I will see you uh, actually literally tomorrow just in a video format instead of streaming, obviously. Yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, I'm shutting up. Bye. <laughs> Love you guys.